So if you've ever wanted to set up ads on Twitter or X, however you want to call it nowadays, this video is going to show you step by step how to complete this really simple trick. Now, first of all, I do get a lot of this. People ask in the comments, people just ask me in person, like, why do I use Twitter for ads? Well, Twitter is more serious. So if you've got more serious products, you can just go with Twitter and you don't have to worry about it. Twitter always has quality and big value of information that you find. It's not like Instagram, it's not like memes, you know, all of that. It's just more serious. And of course, it's got a lot of traffic. Actually, Twitter has more than 500 million monthly and more than 200 million daily monetizable active users. So that's the inside info. You have some more of these statistics, but of course, the traffic is the best one. I mean, the most important one. You want to make sure whenever you spend money on ads, that those ads are going to be seen. And of course, we all know that Twitter is really good. Now, the first thing that you got to do, well, you I suggest that you probably have an account on Twitter. I'm not going to show how to set up an account. Everybody knows that. So let's not waste time. But the first thing that you want to do when you head over, you have to click on here. So more click on the more section and then click on the professional tools. Under the professional tools, there's only one option, which is ads. And when you click on it, you will be redirected in here. Now, this is going to be all about the keywords, you know, and they call it like bid on keywords relevant to your business. And that's a good thing because, of course, they have a lot of analytics and you can be sure that your ads are going to go in front of the audience that are interested in what you have to offer. So, that is why this is really, really effective. You see here that your ads will serve alongside tweets, replies, and search queries that contain your keywords. And that is really, really good for us. So what do you have to do? You have to click on get started, select your country or region where you want to place these ads, and then you will be redirected in order to get this campaign objective. Now, you want to click on maximize your ads reach, of course. That's the first thing that you got to do. Now, consideration is, of course, going to depend on what do you want to do with this. What are you want people to watch your video that you are about a post? What are you want to get these like pre roll views? So you can just pair your ad with some premium content or you just want to people to install your app. You can, of course, drive the traffic elsewhere. So, for example, you can drive the traffic to your own website or you can just drive the traffic, for example, to Amazon.com. Maybe you are into affiliate marketing or you run a store there or something, you know, or your own e-commerce store. It doesn't matter. You can just drive the traffic wherever you want it. Then you've got this engagement option. Now, I'm just going to choose website traffic because that's what I wanted to do with this. And then there is this keywords, which I've talked about earlier. This is just going to connect your ad with some users with high intent. But let's just keep it at website traffic. Click on the next button here. Now, what are you going to do? Of course, agree to these terms and conditions. And then you have to just name your campaign, you know. So I'm just going to go with, I don't know, let's just pretend that we are affiliating for a book on Amazon. Let's just say like this best book ever funding source credit card. Now this is really important for you to do. One thing that I did like before I made a very, very big mistake because I made my campaign. I set like all of these little details and I've just did everything totally. And I didn't like add my payment method and I had to do it all over again. So just make sure you do not repeat this mistake. Here under advanced, you have like campaign spend cap. You can just set it or if you don't want it. But here, if you want to like edit this one, you can always change this one. I'm just going to leave it to website traffic. And then what do you have to do? You just have to click here on the next button down there in the right bottom corner. And then you just have to make budget and schedule your content, your ads. So this is going to be like in your local currency. And here you've got certain audience estimate. So based on your targeting selections, 
This is the estimated size of your audience over 30 days. So in 30 days, they will give you this amount of traffic to your ad. Of course, it's an estimate. It's not going to be for sure. It might be even more. So this is just like something that you just can revolve around. Here you see that you can run this indefinitely or you can just set up how long you want this to go. And you have like this information here. If you run this indefinitely, like with this group budget, you will spend this amount per week. So of course, just go and check your budgets. What do you want to do with this one? How much do you want to spend? That is totally up to you. And then this is really, really important. This is the goal. So this is the delivery and goal of your campaign. So site visits, you want this if you want to get like website traffic. But of course, this is all going to depend on what do you choose here. So before this one, so I wanted to drive the traffic to my website. So that's going to be it. Now there is an event and you can create new event. So you want people, for example, when they do something on Twitter, you can just like micromanage when this ad is going to be shown. So for example, you can install with this with pixel code. And this is where this gets like just a bit too much technical. For me, I just did it with Fiverr. I went to Fiverr and I just paid for someone like 15, $20 in order to just do everything for me. I didn't want it to like get into it a lot because that's not so important. You can do like ads without it as well. So that's not so important. Now bid strategy, you've got two options. You've got auto bid and you've got maximum bid. So set the maximum you're willing to bid for each site visit. And then you've got when your payment is going to go. So pay by impression or link click, that's going to be totally different. And then down there, you've got these placements. So where do you want your ad to be placed? The more ad placements you select, of course, the greater your potential reach is going to be. Now, demographics, this is really, really important. Twitter is OK, like it's like 50 50 almost regarding male and female audiences. But of course, this is going to depend on your product a lot. Maybe it won't. Maybe it's like unisex or whatever. But you do have to choose like the age range. You now this is going to be really, really important. If you want to narrow down, you can see like the estimate is also going to be changed when you change like the age range, of course. And of course, the estimate will change if you choose women or men, as you can see. I don't know why is this the case, but it's almost like the double amount when you choose men. But this information says otherwise. But let's just forget about it. Now, you can just also choose like devices which you want this ad to be shown on. So for example, if you are running an app for the iPhone users, you can just deselect Android users and you will not waste money on it and time. And of course, that's just normal thing to do. You can just select all of these or something that you want. And then you can just search certain audiences here. We have keywords and you've got targeting features. So you can see keywords. That's my recommendation. And then their followers, their interests, their movies and TV shows, events and conversation topics. This is really, 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 really good. Now, when you do this, you will be redirected here to name your ad. You just name it whatever. And destination is going to be that website that you just want to drive people to. For example, I just pretend to like make Amazon's affiliate link, whatever. And then you can just add a picture. Now you can add single media. Of course, that's going to be one photo or video that you want to post. Or you can just choose this one carousal. So two from two to six. And what a lot of people hate nowadays is that you will have to go, you will have to undergo a verification process. Now, in my honest opinion, this is good because there's not going to be like so many different and just bad ads everywhere, you know, you will have to go under verification. But, you know, in most cases, it's going to work because, well, just Twitter wants to take your money. So they will not mind. They will look the other way if it's OK, -ish, you know, so 95% of the ads are going to work. As you can see, they will complete the verification process in 24 to 48 hours and it will just run on its own when the verification process is done you just click on got it you've got all your info here all that you selected and you can now just let this 
to Twitter. You know, they will just complete this verification process and your ads will start running. That's about it. Not hard. You have to just think about these demographics and all these little details. But as I've told you, just add your payment method before so you don't have your own all process lost. All right. So that was about it. Have a nice day.